Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee in heaven above and on the earth beneath, keeping covenant and mercy with thy servant who walks before thee with all his heart, which thou hast kept toward thy servant David my father, for thou hast spoken by thy mouth and thou hast fulfilled it with thine hands, as at this day. And now, O Lord God of Israel, keep for thy servant David my father, the promises which thou hast spoken to him, saying, There shall not be taken from thee a man sitting before me on the throne of Israel, provided only thy children shall take heed to their ways, to walk before me as thou hast walked before me. And now, O Lord God of Israel, let, I pray thee, thy word to David my father be confirmed. But will God indeed dwell with men upon the earth? If the heaven and heaven of heavens will not suffice thee, how much less even this house which I have built to thy name? Yet, O Lord God of Israel, thou shalt look upon my petition, to hear the prayer which thy servant prays to thee in thy presence this day, that thine eyes may be open toward this house day and night, even toward the place which thou saidst, my name shall be there, to hear the prayer which thy servant prays at this place day and night. And thou shalt hearken to the prayer of thy servant, and of thy people Israel, which they shall pray toward this place, and thou shalt hear in thy dwelling place in heaven, and thou shalt do and be gracious. Whatsoever trespasses any one shall commit against his neighbor, and if he shall take upon him an oath so that he should swear, and he shall come and make confession before thine altar in this house, then shalt thou hear from heaven, and do, and thou shalt judge thy people Israel, that the wicked should be condemned, to recompense his way upon his head, and to justify the righteous, to give to him according to his righteousness. When thy people Israel falls before enemies, because they shall sin against thee, and they shall return and confess to thy name, and they shall pray and supplicate in this house, then shalt thou hear from heaven, and be gracious to the sins of thy people Israel, and thou shalt restore them to the land which thou gavest to their fathers. When the heaven is restrained, and there is no rain, because they shall sin against thee, and the shall pray toward this place, and they shall make confession to thy name, and shall turn from their sins when thou shalt have humbled them, then thou shalt hear from heaven, and be merciful to the sins of thy servant and of thy people Israel. For thou shalt shew them the good way to walk in it, and thou shalt give rain upon the earth which thou hast given to thy people for an inheritance. If there should be famine, if there should be death, because there should be blasting, locust, or if there be mildew, and if their enemy oppress them in any one of their cities, with regard to every calamity, every trouble, every prayer, every supplication whatever shall be made by any man, as they shall know each the plague of his heart, and shall spread abroad his hands to this house, then shalt thou hearken from heaven, out of thine established dwelling place, and shalt be merciful, and shalt do, and recompense to every man according to his ways, as thou shalt know his heart, for thou alone knowest the heart of all the children of men, that they may fear thee all the days that they live upon the land, which thou hast given to our fathers. And for the stranger who is not of thy people, when they shall come and pray toward this place, then shalt thou hear them from heaven, out of thine established dwelling place, and thou shalt do according to all that the stranger shall call upon thee for, that all the nations may know thy name, and fear thee, as do thy people Israel, and may know that thy name has been called on this house which I have builded. If it be that thy people shall go forth to war against their enemies in the way by which thou shalt turn them, and pray in the name of the Lord toward the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built to thy name, then shalt thou hear from heaven their supplication and their prayer, and shalt execute judgment for them. If it be that they shall sin against thee, for there is not a man who will not sin, and thou shalt bring them and deliver them up before their enemies, and they that take them captive shall carry them to a land far or near, and they shall turn their hearts in the land whither they have been carried captives, and turn in the land of their sojourning, and supplicate thee, saying, We have sinned, we have done unjustly, we have transgressed. And they shall turn to thee with all their heart, and with all their soul, in the land of their enemies whither thou hast carried them captives, and shall pray to thee toward their land which thou hast given to their fathers, and the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built to thy name. Then shalt thou hear from heaven thine established dwelling place, and thou shalt be merciful to their unrighteousness wherein they have trespassed against thee. And according to all their transgressions wherewith they have transgressed against thee, and thou shalt cause them to be pitted before them that carried them captives, and they shall have compassion on them, for they are thy people and thine inheritance, whom thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt, out of the midst of the furnace of iron. And let thine eyes and thine ears be opened to the supplication of thy servant, and to the supplication of thy people Israel, to hearken to them in all things for which they shall call upon thee. 
because thou hast set them apart for an inheritance to thyself out of all the nations of the earth, as thou spokest by the hand of thy servant Moses, when thou broughtest our fathers out of the land of Egypt, O Lord God.